Good morning, one and all. Hello, good evening, and welcome. Good morning, Maureen. Didn't see you were there. But good morning, my lovely. I was too busy looking down and reading the, the news. Well, today, for those who might know or remember Jeanette McHugh, I'm laying her to rest. Her compatriot, colleague, friend, and other half, Jill is sadly now in a care home with dementia. The end of an era between Jill and Jeanette, district nurse and nurse of, of all kinds, an SRN and a, a district nurse between them. They brought more babies into the world, said goodbye to more people and were immense in the community that is... Uh, You know what, my brain's just gone. But there you go, Kingsbury. Uh, one of those moments when your brain just stops working. So while my brain still is working, I thank you for your response. I'll have a look afterwards, Leah. And um, guys, if you need anything, it's a good day today. Going shopping, doing lots of shopping. I think I've got some more drugs to pick up as well. I was told they should be due Tuesday or Wednesday, so that's good. I'll be picking up drugs for somebody. I have two shops already on the menu. Anything I can do for you, anything we can do for you here, just give us a shout. That's what it's all about. So let's come before the Lord. And today, as you will see, today the church remembers... Timothy and Titus, two uh, moderately well-known people, I suppose, in terms of church life. Here's their, here's their stuff, just posted as a comment. Um, fellow workers, partners, did the stuff together. They're a faithful pair who did a great deal of Good stuff alongside Paul. So it's only right and fitting that we should remember them today. So, without any further ado, let's come before the Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for all the righteous. And all the peoples have seen your glory. Oh. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of all the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are the people, his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind.
As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 34 I will always thank the Lord. I will never stop praising him. I will praise him for what he has done. May all who are oppressed listen and be glad. Proclaim with me the Lord's greatness. Let us praise his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. The oppressed look to him and are glad. They will never be disappointed. The helpless call to him and he answers. He saves them from all their troubles. His angel guards those who honour the Lord and rescues them from danger. Find out for yourself how good the Lord is. Happy are those who find safety with him. Honour the Lord or his people. Those who obey him have all they need. Even lions go hungry for lack of food. For those who obey the Lord lack nothing good. Come, my young friends, and listen to me and I will teach you to honour the Lord. Would you like to enjoy life? Do you want to keep long life and happiness? Then keep from speaking evil and telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Strive for peace with all your heart. The Lord watches over the righteous and listens to their cries, but he opposes those who do evil, so that when they die they are soon forgotten. The righteous call to the Lord and he listens. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who are discouraged. He saves those who have lost all hope. Good people suffer many troubles, but the Lord saves them from them all. The Lord preserves them completely. Not one of their bones is broken. Evil will kill the wicked. Those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord will save his people. Those who go to him for protection will be spared. Psalm 36 Sin speaks to the wicked deep in their hearts. They reject God and do not have reverence for him. Because they think so highly of themselves, they think that God will not discover their sin and condemn it. Their speech is wicked and full of lies they no longer do what is wise and good. They make evil plans as they lie in bed. Nothing they do is good and they never reject anything evil. Lord, your constant love reaches the heaven. Your faithfulness extends to the skies. Your righteousness is, a tower, is towering like the mountains. Your justice is like the depths of the sea. People and animals are in your care. How precious, O oh God, is your constant love. We find protection under the shadow of your wings. We feast on the abundant food you provide. You let us drink from the river of your goodness. You are the source of all life. And because of your light, we see the light. Continue to do good to those who know you and to do good to those who are righteous. Do not let proud people attack me or the wicked make me run away. See where evil people have fallen. There they lie, unable to rise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hosea, chapter 4, verses 1 to 16. The Lord has an accusation to bring against the people who live in this land. Listen, Israel, to what he says. There is no faithfulness or love in the land, and the people do not acknowledge me as God. They make promises and break them. They lie, murder, steal, and commit adultery. Crimes increase, and there is one murder after another. And so the land will dry up and everything that lives in it will die. All the animals and birds, even the fish, will die. 
The Lord says, let no one accuse the people or reprimand them. My complaint is against you priests. Night and day you blunder on and the prophets do no better than you. I'm going to destroy Israel, your mother. My people are doomed because they do not acknowledge me. Your priests have refused to acknowledge me and have rejected my teaching. And so I reject you and will not acknowledge your sons as my priests. The more of you priests there are, the more you sin against me. And so I will turn your honour into disgrace. You grow rich from the sins of my people. And so you want them to sin more and more. You will suffer the same punishment as the people. I will punish you and make you pay for the evil you do. <clears throat> you will eat your share of the sacrifices but still be hungry. You will worship the fertility gods but still have no children because you have turned away from me to follow other gods. The Lord says wine, both old and new, is robbing my people of their senses. They ask for revelations from a piece of wood. A stick tells them what they want to know. They've left me. Like a woman who becomes a prostitute, they've given themselves to other gods. At sacred places on the mountain tops, they offer sacrifices, and on the hills they burn incense under tall, spreading trees, because the shade is so pleasant. As a result, your daughters will serve as prostitutes and your daughters-in-law commit adultery. Yet I will not punish them for this because you yourselves go off with temple prostitutes and together with them you offer pagan sacrifices. As the proverb says, a people without sense will be ruined. Even though you people of Israel are unfaithful to me, may Judah not be guilty of the same thing. Don't worship at Gilgal or beth -Aven, or make promises there in the name of the living Lord. The people of Israel are as stubborn as mules. How can I feed them like lambs in a meadow? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence should be heard no longer in your land or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your wall salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 1 to 13 I want you to remember, my friends, what happened to our ancestors who followed Moses. They were all under the protection of the cloud, and all passed safely through the Red Sea. In the cloud and in the sea, they were all baptised as followers of Moses. All ate the same spiritual bread and drank the same spiritual drink. They drank from the spiritual rock that went with them, and that rock was Christ himself. But then, but even then, God was not pleased with most of them, and so their dead bodies were scattered over the desert. Now all of this is an example for us, to warn us not to desire evil things as they did, nor to worship idols as some of them did. 
As the scripture says, the people sat down to a feast which turned into an orgy of drinking and sex. We must not be guilty of sex sexual immorality as some of them were. And in one day, 23,000 of them fell dead. We must not put the Lord to the test as some of them did, and they were killed by snakes. We must not complain as some of them did, and they were destroyed by the angel of death. All these things happened to them as examples for others, and they were written down as a warning for us. For we live at a time when the end is about to come. If you think you are standing firm, you had better be careful that you do not fall. Every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. But God keeps his promise and he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm. At the time you are put to the test, he will give you the strength to endure it, and so provide you with a way out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. <clears throat> o worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let, Let the, the whole, whole earth tremble, tremble before, before him. him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let, Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among the peoples. O oh, worship, worship the, the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let, Let the whole, whole earth tremble, tremble before, before him. Christ gave them the light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show our to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ gave them as a light to the nations, that his salvation might reach to the ends of the earth. Fathers, as we enter the second day of this week, with the snow still on the ground and a cold night just passed, Father, we Pray for those who need to go and do things, those who will take to cars and travel. And Lord, as we think of those on the roads, perhaps in conditions which will be getting better today, for the weathermen predict temperatures of up to 12 degrees. Father, as we swing from minus 6 to plus 12, back to snow again after the weekend, Father, we look at weather and think how much like life it is. There are ups and downs, there are chills and there are joys, there are blessings and there are bumps. Father, for all this day holds, for all this day will be for us, for the people we meet and for the people we're unable to meet, Lord. We pray that we would be a help, a support, and most of all, Lord, your presence. Yes, Father. Lord, 
Bless us this day and make us a blessing, we ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we pray for the world, we pray for the protests that still are, are taking place across the world, for the, the riots in the Netherlands, not a place we normally associate with violent or rioting behaviour, but people are frustrated, people are angry at the curfews that have been brought in there to try and curb the, the spread of coronavirus and their clashes with the police have turned violent and all that does Lord is to fuel this sense of unrest the sense of dissatisfaction so we pray for all of those those in India where farmers are clashing with police and in Australia, more, pri more protesters defying Covid rules and protesting against the day which marks Brit British colonisation. Lord, as a race, as a, a species, we find it so easy to find things to be offended at, things to protest and some of those things many of those things are valid but Father we pray that protests would remain peaceful that the authorities would allow people to have their say to express their views encourage them to do it safely but Lord that governments would be wise in the action that they take mm. and we pray that those who use these events for their own ends for their own means to sow dissent to instigate violence Lord that they would be foiled that they would be undermined that their plans would come to nothing yeah. and we pray for the aftermath of these protests when inevitably there will be further feelings of discontent and dissent father we pray for both sides to come to a place of healing of listening of understanding and working together to find a solution Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray for the <coughs> situation in this country as Devon himself, its intellectual property rights and some 5,000 people now know their jobs have definitely gone. There's nobody comes forward to buy any of the 147 Devonham stores because nobody wants three, four storey buildings with lifts and escalators and expensive things to maintain. Father, the people in the retail sector are doom and gloom at this time as they talk of how many more jobs will go this year and as lockdown continues and retail is hit hard as the big conglomerates as the internationals like Amazon pick up more and more of the business Father they say that the jobs lost by people looking for the cheapest and the quickest and the most effective is taking our high streets and decimating them. So Lord, we pray for all those in the 
retail sector and actually Lord we pray for all those who were in the retail sector especially for people who on the radio yesterday were talking of careers working with Debenham spanning some 40 years and now they know that at the age of 60 they will never work again almost certainly and that has an impact upon the ability to pay rent, council tax, mortgages, to supply the needs of families. So Father, as we look at retail, it's not just shops. It's how our whole economy that's on the line here. So we pray for those whose jobs are under threat, those whose jobs are gone. We pray for those shopkeepers who are struggling to mm -hmm. keep going. And especially those who yesterday on the radio were talking of how they'd not managed to sell their Christmas stock, which was still on the shelves, and how the winter stock had never sold and the spring stock would be giving way to summer before you know it and they'd not even managed to open their doors to sell it. Father, help us to have a wide vision in understanding impacts, important situations. And help us as church to stand with those whose jobs have gone. We thank you for Christians Against Poverty and food banks and for people of all faith and no faith who stand together to serve their communities. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our oh. prayer. Father, we pray for the things closer to home, the people, the situations mm. that are on our hearts and minds this morning, the things that we laid down as we went to bed last night, but we pick them back up this morning to be that voice that rises before you and intercedes for them. Lord, you told us never to stop, to keep asking, to keep talking to our Father who loves us and loves to give us good gifts. Yes. So Lord, we pray for inspiration and insight this morning that we would pray effectively, that you would teach us how to pray that you call to mind those people that we need to pray for, we need to keep holding before you. That you give us the determination never to give up. Father, we hold before you our loved ones, those who are in need of financial help, those who are in need of spiritual and emotional help, those who are in need of physical healing or strength to cope with physical illness, the strength to cope with the challenges that they are facing. Father, we thank you that as we reflect on our readings, we understand that you've never promised us an easy life. You have always said that there will be hardship, but in the hardship you are there. 
you give us what we need, you help us to cope. And Lord, you have given us a way to cope. You've given us your Son, and you've given us your Spirit. So we have all we need. So Father, we pray that you would provide for our needs today, whatever they may be. And Lord, that you would be with those we love and pray for, to provide and care for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear <laughs> our oh, prayer. <coughs> We pray for those we love who are contained within their homes. We pray for all of us. <clears throat> the weather makes it impossible for Elaine to get to see her today. We pray for John and for Stan and for Enid and for so many of the people we know contained in their own homes. Mm. We pray for those we know who are contained within care homes. And Lord, as studies show that those in care homes are three times more likely to contract the virus than their peers, and nurses twice as likely as their peers to contract the virus, Lord, we pray for the protection of the residents of care homes and for those who work in care homes and hospitals, and pray for those who will visit hospital today for treatment, for those who may be admitted because of the virus. We pray for those who need to be in hospital today because they need treatment for life-threatening and other conditions. Lord, we pray for those we know with cancer at this time, yes, especially those with newly diagnosed or undiagnosed cancer and fears as they await tests and test results and prognosis and plans. We add to those those we know who are waiting for transplants and life-changing, life-saving surgeries. And to them we add those we know who are mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally troubled and ill at this time. For those of our friends, families and neighbours who being effectively confined to home during this lockdown of finding themselves and their mental state diminishing. Yes. For those who are confined to home and finding their physical ability to walk and to do things reduced. Yes. Lord, we pray for those, as we prayed, who already are out of work and troubled by the inabilities to pay and meet the needs of their families. We pray for the unity and the peace of families. We pray for those who, with this virus especially, find themselves treated badly by companies, oppressed and abused because they know there's nowhere you can go at this time for changing jobs is not an easy thing. But for those who have, for those whose jobs have been a pain or disappeared and found new ones we give you thanks and we pray that those jobs will be encouraging enabling and most of all father a blessing so we lift all we know today to you we pray for those who mourn we pray for those who will mourn Jeanette McHugh today as we lay her to rest a, a nurse who has served her community long and well we pray for Jill as she mourns her partner, her friend, her colleague. 
and we pray for all who grieve this day. Yes. So we bring all to you, we bring ourselves to you and we pray that you would be God in each and every and all situations. Yes. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, who sent your Apostle Paul to preach the Gospel and gave him Timothy and Titus to be his companions in faith, grant that our fellowship in the Holy Spirit may bear witness to the name of Jesus, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a safe day, guys. Stay exceedingly warm, because it's not going to be a good more start to the morning. And anything we can do. Give us a shout. Be blessed. Take care. Bye.